بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم <coughs> so moving on we started off by saying kalima words there are three types of kalima which are ism fa'il and harf now verbs and what's the third type particles what are they again noun verbs and particles correct makes sense and then we said, what do you call a noun in Arabic? Ismun. What do you call a verb? Fa'ilun. What do you call a particle? Harfun. Make sense? Okay. Then we, after that we said, uh, you recognize an ism or a noun by what, what two signs? Alif lam at the beginning or? What's the other one? Tanween at the end. Very good. Now, as I said to you before, the Arabic language is made up of words put together in sentences. So you want to talk in sentences. But before we get to a sentence, what do we need to know? We want to know how to put the words together in a sentence. So we have to analyze and uh, understand what words. Before we put them into a sentence, we need, to how, we need to understand how they work individually. Does that make sense? So we want to discuss characteristics of a noun. Okay? What are the characteristics of a noun? Now, before, before I go into the characteristics, let me explain to you what characteristic is. If I ask you a question, a few questions. Are you male or are you female? Are you male or are you female? Okay, are you male or are you female? Correct? That's one, I'm asking you one question. Another question I ask you, are you employed or are you unemployed? I'm asking you different questions. Correct? Are you married or are you single? Are you a tenant, meaning are you renting the house or do you own the house? Are you British, are you non-British? Are you over 21, are you under 21? I'm asking you different questions, uh, different characteristics of a person. Yes? You get what I'm saying? You want to understand different characteristics of a person. So we can ask different questions. So one person can have many characteristics. Yes? One person can have many characteristics. It can be male or it can be female, it can be employed, unemployed, it has different characteristics. A person can have different characteristics. <clears throat> For example, if I say to you, are you male or are you, are you an owner of a house? That doesn't make sense, does it? It can be both. So what we're seeing here, that these are called characteristics. And a noun, what happens to a noun? The noun can have, there are four different questions you need to ask about a noun. How many questions do you need to ask about a noun? Four. And these four questions are the characteristics of that noun. Do you understand? These four nouns, these four questions are the characteristics of the noun. Make sense? Okay. So what we're seeing here, there are four of them. One is definite and the other is indefinite. What is it? Definite and indefinite. What does definite and indefinite mean? We'll discuss that in the next lesson. Okay. The second question is gender. Is the word masculine or feminine? We'll discuss that later as well. The third question is number. And the fourth question is Arab. So these are four questions that we need to ask about a noun. Now these may sound alien to you. Don't worry about them. All I want you to remember for now is that to remember these four things, remember a very simple code. Ding. You have a doorbell? Ding. So if you remember the word ding. So how many things that doesn't ding? D, I, N, G. Okay? So D represents definite and indefinite. I represents era. N represents number. And G represents gender. So these are four characteristics of a noun. So when we ever see a noun, we need to know four things about them. Is it definite or is it indefinite? Whenever we learn about era, we need to know what is it era. When we learn about gender, we need to know its gender. And then we need to know its number. So these four things. So we're going to discuss these four characteristics regarding a, a noun. Are you following me? Does that make sense? Yes? Everybody with me? Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, wa bihamdika, wa nashadu, wa la ilaha illa anta, wa nasakhfiruka, wa natubu ilayk.